Charlie, who's your favorite creator? My sister, 100%. I got there, she was like, I like your outfit. Oh my God, you look phenomenal, love. Girl, you are serving body. I'm wearing the same thing Charlie was just wearing. <laughs> Fully stole my outfit. Yeah. Who is that? So Everything. She is the queen of social media. Go absolutely crazy for Charlie D'Amelio! What would you say, some other advice that you would give to up and coming content creators? I would say don't tie yourself down to anything specific. If you do that, you can only really do that for so long until you get bored of it and you wanna switch. And if you're so used to only making one type of content, you can feel kind of trapped. Enjoy the ride no matter which way it goes because you can't plan any of this out you have no idea how a video is going to do until it's already done so don't don't think too much about it just make what you enjoy making so charlie you've also got a bunch of other really exciting projects in the pipeline is there anything that you can talk about at the moment yeah absolutely so i have a fragrance <laughs> guys for coming here and this is something that I've worked on from the first day and I'm very very proud of this and very confident in the fact that I believe in everything Born Dreamer believes in I'm just really glad that it's about to be out. Everything that is around this brand comes from her, and I could not be prouder of you, Charlie. I love you. Born Dreamer, let's go. It's gonna be an old set. It's called Born Dreamer. If you wanna get it, I recommend Woo. it. How do you feel about Calmby Lane taking over you on TikTok? I feel great. I mean, I had number one for two years. I feel like it's time for someone else to have that spot, and I'm proud of him. He's a friend, and I'm. It's, there's no bad blood, I promise you guys. So we've got time for one last question that we're gonna read out. What is one thing that you're most proud of outside of social media? 100% learned this from my dad. The fact that I'm very determined. He always gave me a very open space to have a conversation and be able to speak my mind and say my opinions and never feel like I can be looked over, whether it's because I'm younger or because I'm a girl. I always felt like my voice mattered. I let it get the best of me where I kind of stopped talking and stopped saying my opinions. And I hope I'm teaching other people that their voice matters and talk about what you love, talk about what's important to you and, and never sell yourself short. Thank you. Yeah.